Hello, and welcome back to the Seven Sisters. Uh, so we got through the Thieves hideout in the subsequent cave, and uh, including accidentally falling into this actually very shallow lake. Uh, and we're just about to continue on to the other caves, hopefully around to where we saw Serafina, who I think is one of the, well, who's definitely one of the sisters. We need to find her heart as well in order to, in order to destroy it. Uh, there's two sisters about to Earth, and then of course there's the Black Sister. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, I did run back to the start to check out on what the other path I could have taken at the start was, and it turns out it's a uh, tunnel leading onto the system of catacombs, or rather, caves. I don't know where it goes, I don't know whether it connects, whether it's going to connect up to where I end up here now or not, it's quite possible it will. And I guess we'll find out if it does, but it was definitely, I went to check it out in case it was just a very short diversion, you know, with some loot and something I would have regretted missing. Oh, hello, this is the dueling chamber. But it wasn't, it was quite a long other path, so I didn't really explore it, I just realized that it was another way to go that I will have to explore later. Right, what have we got here, and how can we... thought I saw something. Alright, so getting on top of these could be useful. Why is she talking about rocks? Right, there's a pat pull of darkness over to the left there. Nope, he's just turning around. Doesn't help me then. As long as he's fishing away, I can make a, run, a dash for it, but now she's going to be turning around. Well, she's short, I could make a dash when she's behind the crate. Maybe. Not really very reliable visibility blocker. Patience, or I could climb up on top of these beams. Um, but I don't think that's going to help me knock either of them out. And really that's kind of what I'm after right now. I want him to face the other way and I want her to be walking away when, I do, when that happens. He's facing away now. But for how long? Hmm. Odd noises. Your eyes are indeed playing tricks on you. All right. Well, there's a uh, platform above me. There's also a shadow goes all the way around here, and I think I'll use another wood arrow. Okay. Yeah. There's another torch there. Why don't they spring for some decent torches around here? That's made him very suspicious, actually. Well, she's not suspicious. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, quick, quick. All right, Arlo. Congratulations on winning the duel. Okay, so we've got Seraphine's heart and we've got her key. Now, I have no idea where I can go to destroy this heart. It's definitely not uh, the same place where you destroyed the other ones. So another rip arrow and a chest. Broadheads, okay. Is there anything up here? It's probably worth a check, right? I think I can run and jump and mantle that. Oh, I will be seeing when I... <laughs> Damn, fell off. Luckily, she's inattentive. I'm just waiting for her to go back again. Oh, 
Oh, it's very silly. Like, what I'm, <laughs> I'm just thinking of trying to do. There's nothing up here I need. I was thinking. Killing this chain. Look here. <laughs> uh, the old hide behind the pillow till they don't forget you're there trick. Come back here. All right. So she's on me. I've wasted a Ribero. Sure, I still got five. Come out and fight me. No, no, no. I don't want to. I'm gonna hide up here. <laughs> well, you certainly won't get me until you calm down. I guess I'm gonna go through that big cave door there. All right, she's calm. Now I better get down quietly. Great. Well, she's calmer. Anyway, turns out that chain was definitely a big collision problem, so there was no way I was going to climb it or chop it down or anything. I was just curious to see why it was there. It's a very odd chain. Apparently it's just decorative. I like that lever. I guess I'm not going that way. Alright, I'll just go back up the way I came then. Shouldn't be too hard. Now that I've only got one person to worry about rather than synchronizing two. Actually, that means I can get my rope arrow back. It was my favorite rope arrow. Might make a clattering sound as I landed there, but that seems alright. Alright. However, our objective is not merely to steal her heart jewel, it is to destroy it. So, how do I destroy this? We need holy stuff to destroy the unholy, and I found nothing. Remotely holy so far. Apart from this ground, there's a great big hole here. Aha. Anyway, back we go. Through the cave. Why were they standing here staring at the land? I mean, that's just ridiculous. Ruining their night vision. Uh, and I think that means I go back to where I started to explore a little, the other caves. Because I think I've got everything I need from here. Those doors didn't open, did they? These big ones? I don't think so. No. Why is there a window up there? Let me just check that out. So is it accessible from the other side? Probably. There's nothing on the beams. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's why there's a window here. Alright. Carefully down here. Trying not to die. I have to go for another long swim. So this is a very uh, different level layout compared to the last one. Now here's a question. Are these doors... Do they take arrows? They eat arrows, apparently. Sorry, I can waste one of those. Alright, swim. Back we go, the way we came. Yeah, so while the city was uh, 
a lot of, lots of loops that we gradually unlocked more and more of. This seems to be some very long branches. Uh, this being one of two. The other one, or maybe more, I didn't really do a thorough search at the start, did I? I came straight in this pool. But it's like, like an enormous Y shape, or an enormous V shape. There's nothing in the water here, is there? No, sometimes these bushes hide something, but uh, seems okay. Alright, let's get out. <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing here. There's obviously the cave there. I already checked for more arrows here, I think. Alright. So on we go, through the tunnel, to a new set of caves. So that way leads to caves, and this way deserves a little more exploration, I think. I don't know what it's about. I didn't really look into it before. Careful, guy. Climb. Don't, don't jump and clatter. So, uh, there's a wisp. There's a very creepy haunt like lady with a big metal necklace. Doesn't appear to be one of the sisters, but definitely appears to be undead. The wisp and the lights is going to make it a little dangerous. And she glows too, that's also interesting. That's uh, uh, some kind of graveyard. I got good darkness here, but not well not great darkness. I'm gonna be stuck too. Stay crouched and I've got decent darkness. I'm sure this is a dangerous undead. Oh, I just came looking for the sound of the, the sound of my fall there, okay. Guess I better let her go on her merry way for now. ambience here. So she goes in there, and then what, turns corner? So darkness in the corner here. Yeah, seems enough. How long till she comes back out again? Is there more than one way to go? Can I go right where she went left? Can I follow her? I don't know. It changed again, so I think she's on the way back. Yep. Oh, I hope I'm uh, safe enough here from the dark. Could be a problem otherwise. Question is do I try a pickpocket or do I try a backstab? Or both? Right, her circle of light isn't that big. Stab is all it took. And uh, I can move the corpse to a dark corner. Alright. Oh, she's still, she's still close. There's no such thing as a dark corner. I 
Is that nice? Oh, the wisp. It's the wisp. An AI or just a light on a path? I don't know. Hopefully just a standard wisp, which is passive and non-harmful. Uh, wearing a veil, it seems. I should be, I can get back out there. I thought I saw... Uh, it looks like a buttress. I thought it was a passage in the wall there. As if I could get up on this ledge, or a hedge, whatever. But no, that wastes, that wastes the river. Alright, let's check out this passageway. Oh, there's more of them. Alright, so I guess there's nothing special about that one undead lady. Interesting ruined castle courtyard. So where are we? Like we went out of the city, so that must be part of the city. Hopefully that's not visible there to anyone who's interested. Let's assume the wisp is not hostile. Nothing in this courtyard is there. Oh bollocks. We got seen by another one. I did not know it was there. I actually was just running out here to look down the hallway to see if one was coming, but it uh, came. <laughs> Alright. The wisp. Is she going to bother me while I'm occluded? She should be safe enough to here, wait here until that one comes down. Does sound like it's got the Haunt AI, which means it's probably too fast in attacking for us to kill. Wait, what? The Wisp is leading it to us? Curse you, Wisp. That wisp is definitely following me. Okay. That's that's tricky. So it is an AI. I wonder if it is susceptible to arrows. Ow. And it shoots at me. Well, it is making noises when I hit it with arrows. How about a sword? Sword seems to do nothing to it. Alright, uh, that took quite a few broadheads. But I don't need them for anything else. Note to self. Oh, a, uh, I missed a couple, alright. Glad I was able to recover them. Oh, she's coming. Note to self. As he heard the wisp and battle noises. If I see another wisp, snipe it. If it wasn't actually already angry at me, 
It would probably have only taken a single arrow to take it down, and I imagine. One nice thing about these enemies is you can see them coming because of their uh, the light that sticks to them. All right, I think we're back in business. for a little while. I'm gonna wait till this one comes back out. <laughs> well if I stand here I can see them coming. And hopefully they don't I don't make the same mistake as last time where they see me as well. And when they turn around to go back, I will come out and sort of do the backstab. Patience. There's not really anywhere to hide in that tunnel, so. And I don't know what the hiding is like on the other side. There's not much point running straight up there. I just realized this isn't a good position to assault from because I can't climb over this wall without making noise if I'm in a hurry. I guess I'll wait till she starts coming. Hop over that side. And just be careful to stay out of the light. Come on, creepy ghost woman. Where are you hiding? You're not supposed to be hiding. That's my job. Well, long stakeouts are part of the thief's job. And that's why I have a cup of tea. Also, because of all this talking, my throat dries out. Come on, creepy ghost woman. Did you just get so old? Just die of old age over there. See, if I go now, I guarantee she'll just be right there. If I went as soon as I got here, obviously I would have had a clear path. Creepy ghost woman, I'll count to ten. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Ah, uh, here she comes. Ready or not. <laughs> Just as I hear the jangle of chains. Unless there's just one other one standing there, that's all, always possible. Maybe she's stuck, walking into a wall. So you can definitely hear change as soon as I start through there. Oh wait. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe she doesn't normally come through here at all, and the only reason she was through here in the first place 
That's because she heard me killing the other one. She heard its death cry. Okay. And then, of course, she followed me to the other place because she heard me. Uh, saw me. So. on the path there. Creepy giant stone face. Very creepy giant stone face. Uh, I guess that is where we're going. Let's just move this corpse. Somewhere else first. Not that it matters. So after waiting a long time for her to patrol through here, I discovered that she doesn't patrol through here. Alright. Not a problem. Now before I head into the creepy stone face, is there anything else around here, like moss arrows or anything I'm missing? Apparently not. Now at one point I knew this stone face was in here because I remember seeing it, as soon as I saw it here, I remembered seeing a screenshot of like this and uh, wondering what that was about. But I don't think that should be the screenshot for this episode or for this series. It's a little too... Well, it's probably better as a surprise for anyone watching. Alright. Hard save. We are in some kind of to me thing. With a uh, interesting ambience. Another creepy stone face with a warning. As long as even one of the six sisters' hearts exists, the guardian will keep this door sealed. Alright, so this is where. Yeah, 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 dude. It was obvious you were a trap. Oh, do I have to get out past that now? Alright. Okay. Well, that doesn't help me. Not well, not greatly. So that is clearly uh, where the last seventh sister, the black sister, lives. And that's where we're going to need the six stone keys. But before that, we've got these. Uh, I've got to destroy this one heart that I've already got, and I've got to find the sister with the other one. I've got to destroy this one. And there'll be one more, which I'm guessing is going to be yellow. I don't know, yellow one do I get? Yeah. Green, white, purple, red, blue. Yeah, they'll probably yellow. So, this other pathway is clearly, conveniently, where we'll find. The sixth sister. Definitely makes a change uh, going through these outdoor passages. Barracks and pagans. Outdoor passages make a nice change from uh, all the indoor stuff we were doing before. Barrack. I don't know how good Barrack's eyesight is. I feel I've got a good handle on humans. I think your patrol path is longer than I expected. Alright, I'm going to wait for the human then, before moving up to the next patch of darkness. Oh, 
Oh, great, you've gone out of sync. Well, to be honest, oh, he waits, okay. She might end up more in sync after the barrack's gone. That'll suit me fine. So now I have to wait for the barrack. Humans go silent, silently when they get knocked out. Barracks do not. So I really need to deal with the human first. Oh god, that's all loud gravel, isn't it? And there's more barracks. Can I knock out the human and then the barrack? No, the barrack's going to turn around before I get a chance to. Oh, hello, friend of barracks. But I can knock out the human. Unconscious body, he doesn't even have a name. I'm not too bothered about alerting barracks, am I? I don't know. Not the barrack heard that, I don't think. Gravel, it's definitely going to be easier to knock things out than trying to avoid. Plus, all these damn light mushrooms. And I'm going to should keep my compass open. So, generally, we came in from the west, so generally, we want to head east, I guess. He goes back and forth. I'll knock him out when they get here. Let's be thorough, clean everything up. Or I can run. I'm sure he's thoroughness or running. But, uh, oh. Didn't come far enough. Take that. See, if I just run everywhere, I can't loot properly, but... Plus, I'm incredibly noisy, which... is how this bike heard me. I think none of his friends did. As a creep, I should be able to hear them before they hear me. Oh, okay, that's interesting. That's a different kind of cave. Let's see what we got. Before I do that, actually, let's go back to the rest of this gravel cave. Noisily as. Because I just really remembered I didn't come and explore out this way. And there might be loot, and indeed. There is loot. 
No more barracks, so the noise doesn't matter. Okay. Back to the exit. So yeah, going out to the east. I was going to comment on the more organic shapes, shapes now that we're outdoors, but that was a very unorganic kind of tunnel. Uh, like toddler own shapes in a crisscross grid pattern. This is a bit more like a cave. Oh, hello. Take these water arrows. What do we have here? A tree trunk. With a passage through and down and in. Pagan ashes. Saw the body, which is, of course, technically neither dead nor gone. God, there's no darkness. God, I hope there's no tree beasts. Hopefully, not. This isn't the more of chaos. There shouldn't be tree beasts, but it feels very like the more. Floating wisps of light, we've got enormous tree trunks. But instead of uh, eight beasts building their homes here, it's humans, pagan humans. Alright, we've calmed down enough to wander around. It may not be enough to get a drop on them. Ah, some darkness at last. Good. That's a good safe spot. Right, let's see what we've got in this tree trunk. Bunch of broadheads. And way up. Let's go upstairs. So can this upstairs when it's up a tree? through here to come and go again. Here we go. <laughs> I've nothing for you. Someone saw me. Guarding an important, important looking place. I guess that's where I've got to go. So I say I hope there wouldn't be tree beasts. There's a tree beast that's not even pretending to be a tree. Let's come back there later. Everyone to our presence here. Hmm. 
Men fools, so eagerly they for silver, gold, and precious stones. Thinks they that eats them they can when they hunger. Believes they that cure their diseases as they will. Maybe warms them in the winter's cold. Cans they feel the emptiness in these barren hearts when everyone has let them down. Gives these men fools what they want and gives us their weapons in return. Then defeats them as we will with their own weapons. Ha 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 ha. All right, we've just hit our loot goal of 2,500. And found some more broadheads. Off. All right. What one comes here? Maybe not. <laughs> oh, that's where I came up first, okay. I'll leave that repair that's a little easier to climb on. Remind myself. Yeah, I actually saw something. Oh, you heard nothing. I'll go down this one. Don't know if there's a door or not. Find out there is. We've got one investigating just outside the door there. One investigating just up here. Brilliant work, Garrett. Maybe just wait patiently for a few moments. I'm just gonna walk over there, then where? Back and forth. Should have plenty of time. I see some plums easel. I'll have to grab those. Should be plenty of time to knock them on the head as they come back the next time. If the one upstairs is going to see, so stand up on that. Ah! Sees me, he did! How? Won't catch me! Well, no, you won't catch me either. Catching you wasn't the point. This one doesn't sound alerted, at least. You'll not take me. Won't catch me. He's got no weapons. Was he running at me? He was chasing me, wasn't he? But now he's saying, won't catch me, etc. As if I wanted to catch him. 
I don't want to catch you if you don't want to be caught. That's fine. If you want to run away, how about being in this one? Nope. Oh, and I forgot to get the ponzies. Alright. Uh, I've got the rope arrows. Oh, no, door here. Oh, awesome. So while I'm collecting fruits and gems and arrows, he's outside, not getting spooked by me. Uh, everyone's happy. Okay, so that's where I started. Well, that's where I first came out. It's not. It's not the only. I haven't explored fully that way. I could have gone shooting with an arrow, but that would be very unsporting. I wonder, could I? Speed me away. God, he's on edge. Mina, come here. You can mark this one that have been down here. Now this one's the plumsy, so let's go to the stairs. <laughs> a locked door. Doesn't even look like a door. But it's got a pick of a lock. How odd. How do I stop this fellow from being quite so... Uh, over twitchy. Let's eat the fruit and get my health back. Uh, oh, did I pick up the plumsy then? Because that was one of the new ones. I could say let a frog beast on it. No, I don't know the frog beast. That was the last time. Um, it's just way too bright. He's definitely after me. Won't catch me. I'll certainly try. Or oh, you'll try to catch me. Stay away. Well, maybe I just leave him. Collect the plumsies. I've been in here. I forgot to collect this arrow. That was where I came up the first time. So I've been there, but I haven't been down here. Wait. Have I been down here? Don't know. If I just ignore this fellow, it should be fine. Yes, I read that. That was the weapons storage. Keep going this way. There's nothing here. Alright, and that's the way forward, okay. Forward's not quite what I'm trying to get to. Oh dear. He decided to come up the stairs. He's Aha! Okay, I can have some fun with him. Ow! Alright, alright, you asked for me. I'm tired of you running after me and saying, you won't catch me, and then trying to stab me with your hands. I need to check the ground level here for, uh, well, careful, any sign of loot, trees I haven't been in, that's the one I have been in. And things like that. So, 
haven't been in here. More arrows. That's a lot. That's an awful lot of broadheads. So I need lots of broadheads for anything in particular. Tree beasts, perhaps. I'm sure I could have uh, knocked him out if I was a little more patient. That's Izzy. Tamar. Should check the name of the one I knocked out. Oh, that's where I came in. Okay. And one of these has a staircase. Alright, now I've got it in a circle. Here's the plumsies. Keep one for later. And which one's got the stairs? So, wait. That's just where I was. was. Kind of all turned about here. How about a compass? Is this the stairs? This is the stairs, all right. Okie dokie. And your name was? Hazel. Uh, well, I'm sorry guys, I'm very sorry about Izzy, but uh, he just wouldn't leave me alone. Mina, if you left me alone or ran away, I would have been fine, but he wanted to be the hero in there. So I think I've been down in all of them. Yeah, I've been there. That's the, that's the one which had the note. Alright, I've been in all of them. I've killed one person. So far, this whole mission, that's that's not a terrible record, considering I'm a little more, a little less patient, usually. Do they have a heart sitting on them? Around the neck, I can't tell. Definitely feels like a place for a hard save. Uh, a moment's breath. I didn't even wander around. There's too much light. Much too much light. And there's a freaking tree beast. I wonder how easy it is to kill tree beasts, huh? Shall I try it? Let's try the experiment. Missed it again. Well, this uh, science could take a while. Maybe I didn't miss it. Maybe it's gone hunting. Certainly not coming back so soon. Can I get around here? No. Of course not, that would be too easy. Oh, there it is. Missed again! Alright, this is not going to work out well. Especially not if he sees me. Uh, water arrows. I have lots of water arrows. Let's use some of these torches. S still the mushrooms to worry about. Oh, that's not water. Uh, let's wait till Tree Beast is gone. Or at least it's looking the other way. It's a little bit darker around here. It'll be much easier for me to get around. Nobody seems to mind about the torches going out either. It's only going to make it a little bit darker, it's uh, still too bright, generally. Oh ho! Oh ho ho! Now, fire arrow. 
I think Tree Beast saw some things. Looks like he's in hunting mode now rather than. That's unfortunate. I'm very stuck on this slope. A little too steep for crawling. So I can start. I can start my salvo on Tree Beast with a fire arrow, right? If I don't miss. If I don't miss. I definitely don't want him still alive, whatever happens. Fight arrow makes me way too visible as well. Alright, here he comes. It's a save, so if I do miss I can try again. Uh, like so. Let's, let's try and hit him. This time. Ah, I shouldn't I shouldn't save scum like this, but I've already missed him too many times. Well, it's really hard to judge these distances. Alright, maybe try a different plan instead of save scumming the same plan when it's not working. Don't want to fall down there. I do want to fall down here into this dark patch. So far so good. I should look, keep an eye out for my arrows around here. There will be a couple of them. Much more darkness, good. Maybe I can just leave Tree Beast alone, I don't know. Spiders. Is it the spider in a cage? Or is it an actual spider free to roam loose? I wouldn't be surprised given the pagans are here. If it was an actual spider free to roam loose. Can't see. you're missing, I hope. So far so good. <laughs> God, your humming is uh, bizarre, miss. What's your name? Spider noises. What be is that sound? Nothing. Beta. All right, that's better. I have tree bees to worry about. Okay, I hope nobody heard that. Not enough to scare them, right. Tree Beast and Madame Sister here. The sixth of the seven. So I'm gonna have to go in there, certainly, to try and find her stone key. I can only hope that the spider I'm hearing is, in fact, in the cage. Heather is her name. That's a very... not the name I was expecting for a pagan, to be honest. Mm. 
All right, one drive that way. Nothing this easy. It is the cage spider. Where keep us to your stone heart? Probably through there. So I'll wait till she walks away again and won't be looking, and then I'll go take a look. Right, there's nothing. And yes, that's a cage spider. That's all it is. She's searching. Will the pickpocket sound? No. Good. I may actually get out of here without having to deal with that thing at all. Now the problem is, how do I destroy these? I have no idea. The place I used to destroy them is no longer present. There's no way I can destroy them here, right? Until she walks off to the left, then I can get out to the right, I think. I think the Street Beast has my sight not good enough to spot me. Alrighty. Now I can't climb over this rock to get back. So that's a slight problem. And I don't know if I can outrun them to get back. I have a fire arrow I could distract them with now, for sure. I think I should have made it. Yeah, she is none the wiser. As is Mr. Tree Beast. As blind as a stump. Okay. Uh, well, that was more successful than I expected. I found the two sisters. I haven't destroyed their hearts. I have no idea how to destroy their hearts. This is a problem. Because I have now been all over this level and see nothing that seems to be suitable for heart destruction purposes. So where should I go? How am I supposed to do this? I don't know. I'm just going to go back to the where I came in and then see if I can figure out what to do next. Here we are. It was arrows, it's good. Wait, oh yeah, that's just a cave from the tree, right? I've been in that one. I think I've been in that one. Yeah, I've been in this one. Alright. Back through all the caves. So we have the place, you know, the door, where it says the Guardian will not let this door open as long as any of the six hearts remain. Now that's very weird, because that suggests to me that the sister's own plan would have been to destroy the hearts that they had. So if I'm stealing the hearts and destroying them, am I helping them with their plan? That seems, uh, well, unexpectedly altruistic of Garrett, to be honest. Also counterproductive considering my intent is to prevent the Age of Chaos happening. However, I'm back here at this crossroads, that way leads back to the star, this way leads to the chamber of the Psy-Mutant princess, or rather the uh, black sister, the guardian, where we will need the portal keys we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six stone keys. And we have two 
hearts that I don't know how to destroy. But I'm going to end the episode here. So thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you shortly for the next episode.